The bad guys go bust. The nefarious fivesome has finally been captured. And I, Tiffany Fluffett, am first on the scene. The Bad Guys is definitely the movie that you should have on your watch list. It has a really amazing voice cast, a well-crafted story, great animation, and it is highly entertaining to watch. Moreover, it is one of the first really enjoyable movies of the first time that was produced by DreamWorks. In this video, we'll cover all the important things that made this movie absolutely amazing, and we'll show you the most significant behind the scenes of the bad guys. This is a chance to write your own story, to find a better life for you and your friends. Come on, what have you got to lose? If you watch the Bad Guys movie, you've probably caught that the entire story has a lot to do with one of the best Hollywood heist movies like Ocean Eleven. This story is about the thieves whose reputation speaks volumes. When they enter the room, everyone is thrilled and it gives us Ocean Eleven's vibe. Their big plan of stealing the Golden Dolphin, a prestigious award given to the city's Good Samaritan, is going to be one of the biggest heists ever. Just like in Ocean's Eleven, they also had a heist of their lifetime. Another reference that we see in this movie is Zootopia. As you may have already noticed, there are so many similarities with this movie as the characters kind of look like the ones from Zootopia. But still, the Bad Guys movie has its own unique style. But as for the background, the movie is based on Aaron Blabley's series of children's books by the same name. It's safe to say that the books series is a huge success, and according to a 2018 Variety report, millions of copies have been sold over the years. To date, there have been 14 books released in the series with several more slated for release in 2022 and beyond. Nice work. Now let's make it like a wolf and get the pack out of here. Ah, wordplay. As we've already discussed, the Bad Guys animated movie reminds us of Ocean's Eleven a lot. According to the film director, Pierre, the animation of the movie was something that he was wanting to be seen in an American animation for quite a while now. As for the inspiration, Pierre shared that it comes from the heist movies like The Italian Job, Snatch, Lock, Stock, and obviously Ocean's Eleven. Getting into the details, Pierre said, but also, I think the very first influence for me was Quentin Tarantino's films and cinema, and it really came out of the look of that cover. The cover of the first book, The Bad Guys, is really those animals in black suits and they look like gangsters, and to me, it was reservoir dogs. I'm like, oh my god, this is perfect, animals, gangsters, driving cars, robbing banks, money flying, it was exactly that. I would picture that right away, and so that was reservoir dogs meets fun animation. Have you caught that Tarantino movie vibe? Let us know down in the comment section below. Why? Hey, here. Take it. Oh yeah? Fuck me please! The Bad Guys voice cast is diverse and the characters lend their talents to make the animated film all the more memorable. Sam Rockwell played Wolf, Snake was voiced by Mark Marone, Anthony Ramos voiced Piranha, Aquafina was Tarantula, and Craig Robinson played Shark. Of course, there were other actors, including Zazie Beetz, who voiced Diane Foxington, Alex Bornstein as the chief of police, Misty Luggins. Everyone who participated in the casting made lists and decided who would be good at voicing. Pierre, the director, was super happy to realize that every actor he'd chosen was on his list. He also shared that every actor had a huge influence on the character they played. They are so powerful and so strong that they define their characters almost on the first day reading for us. Sam and Aquafina and just Alex Bornstein, every single one of them would be there and just bring up the character, just bring them to life, said Pierre. He then continued, they brought so much to the point where we rewrote some lines for them to really match their voices and their acting style, and frankly, we managed to record them together so that there'd be some really kind of great improvisation and some kind of banter between them and make sure that the flow of the read was organic and felt right. We got no food! We got no money! We got no money we can use to buy food! We got no food we can sell for money! It goes without saying that the actors really loved their characters, and according to Aquafina, she enjoyed her time as a spider a lot. Alex Bornstein also revealed that she has always liked to play a no-nonsense character, especially a woman who knows what they want, and her character was exactly that. As for Lily and Zazie, they enjoyed the entire working process just because they were incredibly expressive people, and film can usually force you to stay very 
subtle, so being behind the mic was freeing. As for Craig Robinson, the most surprisingly great thing about doing animation was the fact that he could keep the energy up in different ways. If you've got to run in place or whatever, just things you can't do in live action, you can do to keep your energy going. It adds so much more to the character without people having to know that you did it, Craig shared. For Mark Moran, the greatest thing is his entire work on this animated movie was convenient commute. For me, it was that DreamWorks was literally an 8 minute drive from my house. I could go, they could need me at 10, and I could leave at 10 to 10 and have a couple of minutes to have a sip of water. The convenient commute was the most unique thing for me. Anthony Ramos revealed that he really enjoyed watching his character develop. It's just the process, you know, seeing your character develop. You come in and there's nothing, there's no sketch, really, or anything. They're like, yo, this is just the idea. You come in, you start voicing the character, and you start to see them. Every session you come in, you see how your character is being developed more and more and more and more. And then, eventually, they start to see the animation to your voice. You start to see the mannerisms, the face you made when you did that same line that one time. You're like, oh man, that's crazy. Just being able to see that translation. I'm just gonna blow it. You think I can't no, do no, no, this? Run! When you watch this animated movie, you definitely think that everyone on the team did their job absolutely perfectly. From voicing to animation, the result is brilliant. But here is one detail behind the scenes that we definitely need to talk about. Choreography. Susan Meisner, the choreographer of The Bad Guys, revealed that it was really important for her to make every actor feel their character. So she tried to start with the story first, and she leaned into the competitive and playful nature between Fox, Diane, and Mr. Wolf. Zazzy and Sam, she said. I kept thinking, a fox and a wolf, what they can do. Well, it seems like she got plenty of ideas as eventually the choreography was amazing and we're pretty sure you'll agree with us. But not only a fox and wolf, but a huge shark and other animated creatures had to look absolutely stunning. But then on top of that, you've got this story of friendship. That was actually kind of beautiful. So Susan revealed that she had to push the actors to their limits so they will make every viewer feel their character's energy. Shortly after the movie debuted, it became clear that it was a huge success as the movie made excellent box office. Moreover, the fans all around the world are curious now if there is going to be a sequel as there is probably even more books that are going to come. In his interview with Screen Rant, the movie director Pierre said that he is definitely thinking about creating another movie, but as for now, it is very difficult to predict anything. So he's just enjoying the entire process here and now, he said. That is definitely something to do, and of course, we're thinking about it. Of course, we want to see those characters be there again and come back. Honestly, I just enjoy the ride with them so much myself, bringing them to life, and I see my children's or friends of my children's reaction to this and wanting more and really wanting to embark with these characters, he went on, saying. Because you really fall in love with them. I think during the film, you want to see them and what's next. Yeah, we're thinking about it. Nothing's done. We don't know but in a way, fingers crossed, you kinda hope. Have you already watched The Bad Guys? What do you like the most about this animated movie? Do you think there's a space for a sequel? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye. What is going on in this scene? I was hoping you were gonna ask me to dance. Oh.